What's going on YouTube? Back with another Cheat Engine video here. This one's going to be a quick one. I just wanted to show you something that can really enhance your research, save you some time, and um, you know, really help out with if you're going to be looking for multiple things in one game. Um, so, long story short, you can have multiple tabs in Cheat Engine. Okay, so each tab can perform a specific function for you. All right, so just to give you an example, I'm going to use Final Fantasy for Nintendo. All right, and let's start a new game here. Name all my characters. All right, so we're all set up there. All right, so what I want to do is get into a fight here. All right, good to go there. Now, let's say we wanted to search for the hit points of all four of these guys and do it without having to try to find one and, you know, add the result, do whatever, and then get into another fight, start with the other one, whatever. Basically, what you can do is go to File and add a Scan tab, or you can press Control t for a new tab, okay? So... I'm going to do Control t and Control t The reason why it skipped from 1 to 3 is because I had already opened a second tab um, and closed it. But anyway, now what you can do is rename these tabs. So we'll name this one All A's. Alright, so now we know what our tabs are and you know you could add the word health or whatever you know whatever you happen to be searching for. We're going for hit points so now that we've got this up we can attach the game FCE UX um, and basically I've got mine set to two bytes here which is pretty successful first um, value type to search for in emulated games um, like Nintendo or whatever. Once you get into Genesis and 16-bit and even higher uh, two bytes may be too little to find values. But anyway, so I'm just going to start with that. So for AAAA we want to uh, search for 35 because that's his hit points currently. This guy is 30. C is 33. And the next guy is 30. Alright, so You've got your values entered, you can do your first scan. You could have hit first scan right after you entered the value. I don't know why I didn't do that, but anyway. So here we have the first values pulled up with these numbers for all of our characters, okay? So now what you can do is get in a fight, and instead of rushing over to the tabs and trying to find which one changed right when it happens, like with this game, you can just wait until the battle sequence is over. All right, so now you can look really quickly. AAA, nothing changed there. The next guy went down to 25. So we can say 25, next scan. Boom, we've got this one address. Next guy, he went down to 25. So 25, next scan. And the last guy, still at 30. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? I'm basically doing the stuff that I covered in the previous video, or previous videos, rather, and I'm just looking for multiple things in different tabs with one instance of Cheat Engine open. Um, back when I first started learning Cheat Engine, which I mean I'm still learning it, but I guess it's been a couple months now since I first started with it. Uh, I used to actually open four different Cheat Engine windows <laughs> for something like this. Four completely separate instances of Cheat Engine, resize them all small, and then attach all four of them, or three or two or whatever, to one application or game or whatever and scan for values in each of those and then I don't know I just saw add scan tab one day and felt pretty derpy after that but anyway 
So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because this is pretty much all I wanted to cover um, and let you know that this functionality is in Cheat Engine and it's really helpful if you have a lot of things that you know you want to scan for immediately. Um, in the next video I'm going to start diving into a little more uh, advanced concepts using Final Fantasy. And I'm pretty much going to pick up from where we left off here, sort of. And um, <clears throat> it'll, it'll be quite a bit more challenging than the other stuff I've covered so far. But I think it'll be good for those of you who are interested in really diving into this. Um, you know, should prove helpful and challenging and interesting and whatever. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, share it with whoever. Um, really appreciate it. So talk to you in the next video.